Hey there, it's Lady of the Lake, and I have another opening video. So I have some Yu-Gi-Oh! product. I know it's been a while, but I picked up a Lightning Overdrive at a local card store. I'm really eager to see what's inside. So there's some really popular Starlight rares that are in this box, one of which is the Black Rose Dragon. And I feel like I've been opening a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! product lately that the packs are just all hollow foils. So to have a booster box, again, where I can get two secret rares technically out of would be really neat. This doesn't want to pop up. There we go. I think it matters which side. All right. So try to center this right. Boo Boo Game. Also, if there isn't a bad glare at all. Let's center for me. There we go. So, Boo Boo Game. I'm not going to even try to pronounce that. CW Pegasus Twin Saber. AI Challenge You. Trap Tricks for Trap Tricks Vesculo or Vesculo. So got an ultra rare, so that's really neat. World Soul Carbon, Basil Rose Shoot, Springen's Booty, You and AI. I think this is almost thought that that was archetype restricted, but I guess not. I'm going to try to see if this will focus a little bit better. Because it seems like it's a bit fuzzy. Alright. So Starry Night Seal. I guess it has something to do with how the lighting sitting that. Okay. It almost looks like that there was a little bit of damage on the top of that. So got a DD card, Amazement Special Show, one Curry Way, into a Springen's Merrymaker. So that's a really interesting artwork for that. It is an Xyz card that requires two level four monsters. If this will focus a little bit more. I guess not. Let's raise the lighting a little bit. There we go. I think that looks a lot cleaner on the focus. So Hidden Springs, Judge of the Ice Barrier, Star Mine, and Abusion card. It's sometimes neat seeing Bujin played in Duel Links. I know that there are some Bujin fans out there. Oh, look, a Paleozoic card. Paleozoic Cambro Racer. It is lovely seeing Paleozoic cards. Maze of Bujin Torifoon. So I might go a little bit faster as I go through the box here. 
So at least it's getting the text and it's not too blurry. So an Arca Mofrite, Amazement Ambassador, uh, Binary Blader. Into and here's the first secret rare. So, Ben Galancer the Resurgent. I had to like look at it from the side. I couldn't see it just from the screen because of the reflection. But it is a link monster that requires two plus plant monsters. And I will hold it there for a moment so you can read the effect. But we'll put this off to the side. I will wait until after the video to sleeve these up, unless I happen to pull a Starlight Rare, which would be amazing. I have yet to pull a Starlight Rare. Alright, S Force Dog Tag, One Curry Way again, Terrors, into an Ed of the Sun Magician. For the rest of it, there's a Birth of Prominence Flame, Hidden Springs, Judge of Ice Barrier, so they have another Ice Barrier card. It's interesting seeing like more editions being printed for older archetypes. Judgment, S Dog Force into a So this this is one of the ones you can get as a starlight in the set, I believe. So Lina the Light Charmer. Lustrous or Lustus. Ah, there we go. You can get a really good close up of that. I think it has to do with the glare from this light. That's why the light's just too strong from the left side. Screams of the Branded. With Yu-Gi-Oh cards, it's so I, I think it's a little bit cringy to like watch somebody try to pronounce the names for these cards, but I can't really help it. Oh, that's a neat artwork. We can get a close up of that. I'll be in the branded dragon. Almost expected this to be a fire dragon, but it is a dark attribute. 2500 attack. The Bujan card into a Pharaonic Guardian Sphinx. Almost feels like that's a reprint alt art. I could be mistaken. All right, and for the foil, boom, expendable die. Oh, is this a, oh, what the heck is going on with this card? Oh, I almost thought that there was like a scratch or something. Tribute one warrior monster, then target one card in the field, destroy it, and if you do draw a card, that is in, that's a pretty good effect for regular super. 
one by one. And I do kind of like the artwork on this Anka Mofride. But with Pokemon cards, you know, because I've already heard them pronounced, I can I can easily just Oh, so branded in white, I can easily pronounce them out. Word Soul Carbon Screams Z S Arm Sage. So I I wasn't paying attention to map out this booster box, but I feel like the secret was early, early in the stack. Unless they fixed mapping. So, another plant. Link, so Sun, Avalon, me, uh, Melius. And gotta get it just right in the light and have it focus. Or rock, amazed attraction, basil root shoot, and a black eyes. Got a scrap raptor. I think that's the first scrap raptor I've gotten. At least I finally got one. And an S Force card, S Force Edge Razor. So we got Birth, one by one, Springen's Booty, and War Rock again. So that might be a short print in the set. Good for if you're running scrap archetype. AI challenge you. Oh, here's another one. Okay. Into a tri brigade. Beer Brum, the rampant rampager. Try saying that really fast, but if it will focus for me. I really love the artwork for that. And then let's get a close up of the effect. Maze Attraction, you and I, Hidden Spring Guns, and Pharaonic Guardian Sphinx. Let's move these up a little bit. And I think that if you get the second secret, you don't get a starlight. I could be wrong. Unless it's separate from the two secrets. Yamori into an ultimate. And it's reflecting a bit. Dragonic Utopia Ray. And this is the card that's on the box. Can't move this over enough, but that's what's on the artwork. So it's neat that I pulled that. Is a really neat artwork. So it takes three level five monsters to play. And I could do these packs like with Pokemon where I just do four to the front. I think I might do that since I'm almost about to get to the secret. So here's four to the front. Hopefully I didn't mess that up. So we got Judge of the Ice Barrier, Springen's Booty, Star Mine, War Rock, Boo Boo Gam, into a Zexel Construction. That's neat. 
So reveal one card in your hand, and if you do, you can use one of these effects. Add one of the following from your deck to your hand. But I'm so used to like showing the code card as well after I do this, uh, this trick. But at least it saves the hollow foil for last. War rock into a throne, the disciplined angel. So if a monster that was originally an earth fairy type is sent to your hand or field, to the graveyard, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can only use the effect of this card once per turn. That's pretty standard. Clock Arc. I don't believe I've seen this one yet. War Rock screams one by one. Another Paleozoic. DD. Amaze in two. And boom. So that is the second secret. So it is a Drytron Mu Beta Fafner. This will focus for me. When you ritual summon, you can detach a material from this card as monsters required for the rich for the ritual summon and i will try to hold that so you can read the rest of that so it seems that that was in the same spot as the left side so they haven't really fixed mapping i guess there's another clock arc. Into that's a really neat artwork. So Supreme Sovereign Serpent of Gol Gonda. Also wonder like who comes up with these names too. I mean it it must take quite a bit. I I mean I wonder, I, I haven't seen some magic cards in a while, but I know that they have like some, some names that they have to come up with as well. Black eyes, try to center this a little bit better. Boom, into a War Rock Spirit. I almost thought that that was a repeat. One of the other spell cards that I pulled. That is neat. And it's got that card that I, let's recap back. So I think it's got the throne, the Discipline Angel in the back, no? No, I'm missing it. It's, it's some other low, lowly that I didn't... I don't know. It's a lowly from somewhere. I'm sure it's from one of the cards. I like, you know, in a pack that they show other cards that are associated in the artwork. So War Rock, AI Scrap into a, so at least I pulled another Ultra, Amaze Attraction Horror House. I love the artwork for that. I'm trying to think of the name of the archetype that this reminds me of. I'm sure it will pop into my head. But it's the zombie 
creatures that look really cartoonish. That bones from the anime is uh, associated with, at least in Duel Links. I'm sure somebody will comment in the section what I'm thinking of, what archetype I'm thinking of. Sky Scourge, don't think I've seen that one yet. Oh, this one's really cute, a Rudy Rose Watch. So they're giving you plant types in the set. It is a tuner. And it's associated with Black Rose. Okay. Oops. One by one. It's an Avalon into a boom. So a dark infest at Ingster. Ignister. I am so sorry trying to like pronounce these names. I'm so awful. But it's like every YouTube video. I just. I should get drunk and open uh, a Yu-Gi-Oh box and and try to pronounce like all the names, but it doesn't help that I'm slightly dyslexic too. Amazement, Precious Park. And I like the artwork on that too. You have to like really reflect it in order to see like what's in the background. Looks like a whole carnival. Scrap Raptor, War Rock into, so it is neat. As I said, you know that they re they do some new cards for old archetypes. So, Lavalvel, X Lord. I tried playing this archetype in Duel Links, but I didn't really make it work. I I know that it's like for the people that make it work. It's really strong, but I just really sucked at playing that archetype. All right, so last pack of Destiny. What will I pull? Can I end it on an ultra rare at least? Nope. But is this the one that's in the picture? Stay Sailor, Omarion. So I will do a recap. Anyway, so once I see it, if this will focus for me, Rudy Rose, so is it this one? No, it's not. I'm trying to see if, like, that is a card, if this is associated, or if this is a, um, a card by itself as well. So that's one of the secrets that I pulled. So let me see, because I've only seen like glimpses of this set, I can go ahead and check. Where the prices are on this. So for the secrets, okay, so at least the Drytron I pulled is worth about $25, but the, the link I pulled is only worth $4. But, you know, also what I'm interested in is, is pull rates. Wow, the Dark Honest would have been really neat to pull. 
but or the divine ear of the herald but hey i mean not a bad box uh if you like the video please hit that like button and subscribe for more content i try to post stuff as soon as i get sealed product i I'm really happy that I was able to open some Yukio product again. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will catch you next time. This is Lady the Lake. Peace out.